Hello! Welcome, David here, Toby there. This is the Minecraft Weekly News, episode 101. It's full of observations, humour, happy Thanksgiving to Americans, some random Moyang tweets. Let's get on with this show. Charlie Brooker has made a one-off program on the topics of how video games change the world. Now, you may not know anything about Brooker and that's fine, but you do know a lot about Minecraft and Minecraft is the focal point of the game's preview clip prior to the show's airing on Saturday the 30th. It comes out as part of Channel 4's Gaming Night in the UK. People are excited and touched at the words of the participant interviewees, particularly Notch. For you folks in the US, we're positive you'll be able to view it somehow. It's getting close to Christmas, which is the perfect time to do a scary adventure map. You know, because Christmas? Anyway, this week's spotlight is a story-based suspense map called Le Brewer Mansion by Cold Fusion Gaming. With a brilliant plot and a very well thought out resource pack alongside it, this creepy map will have your hairs on end all the way through as you search for the secret to your grandfather's creepy house. Featuring a book-driven storyline that's in-depth and encompassing, we highly recommend you set aside a couple of hours and play through this great adventure, the link to which can be found below. Every time we look around, it seems more things are happening with Minecraft Xbox. This week, there's some speculation and promises from Microsoft's Roger Carpenter about bringing Minecraft to Xbox One. There's nothing in the works yet, he states, but promises it won't be long before they sit down and talk about it. There's also some assurance about future mashup packs after the incredibly popular Skyrim and Mass Effect packs that hit recently. As soon as we know more on the subject, we'll shout it from the rooftops. Snapshot 13W48A and consequently B were released last week as a pair of small bug fix pushes. However, there was also some joyous news that 1.7.3 is on the horizon, with a pre-release that was initially scheduled for the 28th and is now slightly delayed. No matter though, 1.7.3 should be out next week. Dinnerbone has been working on 1.8 alongside this update and managed to fix the render distance in single player to boot. Great news for CurseForge this week as they've hit their 500th mod to be hosted on the platform. When you think that each one of those mods is lovingly made by some talented person, that's a huge deal. Thanks to everyone who's a part of CurseForge, and if you're not part of it, then what better time to learn how to be with this great post on the Minecraft forum by everyone's favourite robot, Sasha Varel. Now, of course, this doesn't mean we'll be sitting back. There are some great things in store for CurseForge, so make sure to stay tuned for them, and visit the links below to make use of CurseForge. Finally, it's getting close to Christmas, need we remind you, and if you celebrate this holiday then you might want to be getting your fanatical friends some fantastic merch. If they're fans of the Feed the Beast mod pack, then the store pertaining to that will cater to all their FTB desires, stuff full of great apparel with merch coming soon. If computer craft is their thing and they love coding, turtles, or simply the excitement of opening a shape waste package, then dan 200s store is a must. Lastly but not leastly, Svax's store, a way to support his fantastic work on the texture pack which supports so many mods and hey, if you're getting a statue or a tributary mug in the process then it's Christmas cheer all round, links are below. Thank you guys as always for watching, we recorded this on Thanksgiving so we're especially thankful. Do click to head through to either last week's news here on the left, or on the right you can see us play some FTB and goof around whilst looking at some amazing mods. In this day and age we're not sure if people will still subscribe anymore, but if you would like to, mash that annotation here to do that. Or find us on Twitter and Facebook, because it's the 21st century, and we know that's still relevant. Catch you all later gentlefolk, and you ruffians too. Bye!